Hey guys, it's Commander Napkin, and I'm back with another episode of Pikmin 2. Alright, leaving off from last time, we're here in the Cavern of Chaos, sub-level 1. So, as you know, this is the first dungeon of the Wistful Wild. Yeah, I forgot the name right there. But yeah, the Wistful Wild. Or, it should be the first dungeon. I mean, it's right next to your home base. Well, yeah, so, there's no reason you shouldn't go into it. Anyway, this place, like most other, most other late-game dungeons, has hazards of, hazards of all kinds. Explosions, poisons, explosions right there, as well as falling hazards too. So, beware. Anyway, uh, I don't think this, this is probably the easiest out of all the cavern, I mean, the <laughs> out of all the Wistful Wild dungeons, so you shouldn't struggle too much unless you're just really, really bad with Pikmin. Then, I mean, there's a lot of explosions and hazards, like there's water and fire here, and electricity and explosions, and you can fall, and, and, and. And it's also very easy to die here, in case you didn't know. Yeah. Anyway. So, yeah, guys. Let's see. Oh, yeah, I've been playing through Pokemon Green, if I haven't... If, no, yeah, I, I mentioned this already, but yeah, I've been playing Pokemon Green. And... I gotta say, it's first-generation Pokemon. Their moves kind of suck. I mean, I mean, they're, they don't suck, necessarily, but they're so limited. I mean, I catch a Pikachu, and then he learns, like, Thundershock... No, no, I catch a Pidgey, it knows Gust, which is actually a normal move, not even a flying move yet, and then it knows Gust and Sand Attack, and then learns Quick Attack at like level 10, and then like 20 levels later I learn I learn how to do Whirlwind, which does no damage, and in gener Generation 1, Whirlwind only lets you flee from fights, doesn't let you force Pokemon out of the fight, so, yeah. Like, your moves are pretty limited. And here, I don't get why, like, when the, when the, the careening Dirigi bug... D Dirigibug, whatever. The Queen Dirigibug. I don't get why when he drops a bomb and it falls on the ground, why the bomb doesn't harm itself. Like, that's kind of weird. I guess it does have armor, so that's somewhat justified, but I don't know, whatever. Anyway. Java updater. Okay, yeah, anyway. Anyway, anyway. So, yeah, the first semester just ended, and finals were fabulous. They were fabulous. Not just good, they were fabulous. But finals, yeah, <coughs> not bad. I did alright in school, and now I'm back, I have not exactly more free time, because some of my classes have really scaled up in difficulty now, because it's second semester, and it's getting close to AP week. Speaking of AP week, guys, for those of you that, that are like cramming in, like, I don't know how many APs, like five or six, and I, I'm not that crazy, but for those of you who are cramming in like five or six, good luck. AP weekend's gonna be killer, but yeah, good luck. You know you guys. Anyway, I mean... Uh, so I'm assuming you guys know what APs are, like advanced placement classes, they're just like tougher classes, college classes, that they teach in high school, and you have to take like a little national test for them every, after, after to like, to make sure that you, well for a score basically, you take the test for a score of like 4 to, f 1 to 5, typically you want a 4 or a 5, well you want a 5, but 4 is okay, yeah, and basically those tests all happen like in a matter of 2 weeks, and <clears throat> yeah, they're pretty tough, they're pretty tough. It's like taking finals, but early. I mean, no one, no one likes finals. I mean, who likes finals? They're well. I guess if you if you're taking really easy classes, you can be like, go to our class, make a pot, and then get an A, and then just like sleep for the rest of the hour, which is what I did for some of my classes. Just like finish the test really quickly and just like fall asleep. It always feels satisfying. Just trust me. You finish a really tough test, put it down, just like collapse onto your desk and fall asleep. Feels so good. So good. Yeah. Anyway. Oh yeah, um... What was I gonna say? Oh yeah. Actually, I, f I completely forgot. Anyway. Yeah, Minecraft. Minecraft. I hear it's, it's doing pretty well so far. I mean, it's pretty popular. You guys like Minecraft? You guys like Pikmin? You guys like Mer You guys like Colonel... 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 Colonel Muffin. You guys like Muffin. So yeah, you guys like Muffin, you guys like me, hopefully. I mean, you're watching this video, so I'm hoping you like me. If you don't, then get out. I'm, I'm kidding, just watch. Anyway. Yeah, so you guys like Muffin, you guys like Minecraft, so... I mean, I'm having fun playing... I'm having fun playing Black Desert, and from what I hear, I hear Napkin Shredder is nearing its finishing point. And I'm both happy, yet I'm also slightly terrified at the fact that... That Muffin finds joy out of out of my misery. So, look at that. He didn't even dive down for my Pikmin. Look at that. He just, he just like stood in place and just used magnet hands and pulled them up. But yeah, anyway, Napkin Shredder. 
So as I've been told, I am not allowed to watch the videos whatsoever, and I actually haven't watched a single video, so it's gonna be interesting. We'll see. If you guys haven't, if you guys don't know what napkin shredder is, basically, uh, Muffin's gonna. Well, it's what what it is. Napkin shredder. He's gonna. I'm napkin, and I'm gonna be shredded pretty much by Napkin's own personal torture world, which I'm actually very scared about because Muffin finds enjoyment in causing me pain. Of course, I of course I get enjoyment out of causing him pain too. But yeah, I don't know. Sadly, I don't think. Yeah, we'll just see what happens in Napkin Cheddar and go with that. Anyway, here, uh, as you can see, I waste. I, I I don't waste necessarily, but I use up quite a bit of my bitter sprays. I use up three actually, because there's three fiery bull blacks here, bull blacks. And these things are a pain because I only have 25 Pikmin, and even with spicy powder, as you can see here. They shake them off very quickly, so there's a high chance you're going to lose some, at least one or two or three, or maybe all of your Pikmin, I don't know. But you're going to lose quite a bit of Pikmin here, so be careful. And yeah, be careful. Advise caution. Also, don't use... Make sure you use Red Pikmin. If that wasn't obvious enough, <laughs> yeah. Use Red Pikmin. Mm. But yeah, this, this, uh, this dungeon... I stammer a lot, just saying. You guys should be used to that by now, though. But yeah, this dungeon... It's, um, I would say it's a lot tougher than the last three. I mean, I already explained in the last video that Wistful Wild, it's no joke, it's no play, it's no pushover. You're gonna, you're gonna be punched in the face several times, metaphorically speaking. Or literally speaking, if you're really that, if you're, I don't know. I mean, like, once when, oh, when I was little, when I played games, I would get so mad. I was like, oh, peppy hair, why do I have to keep saving you? And then I just, like, I don't know, I'd, like, slap myself or something. I don't know, I don't know why. I would slap myself whenever I got mad. I was kind of a, I was a pretty weird kid who liked video games and stayed home all day. You know, I was a nerd. But yeah, video games, they were very fun and they they caused me a lot of pain too. But it was worth it. It was worth it. I mean, now I have like I can show off all my video game skills to all those girls out there who are just waiting to, you know, yeah. Which never exists. But yeah, anyway. Yeah, I admit playing video, playing games growing up with video games and all that stuff it was pretty enjoyable. I mean, like, um, as a kid, you could like. I mean, now, like, now that you, now that I'm more grown up, I mean, it's more like based on like personality and that stuff and like everything else. But games, games like brought kids together. I mean, yeah, games you could just like sit down and just play together anything you, you want. And this, this, I think this is like a yeah, this is like a rest floor. This is, oh, wait, 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 no, no, no. Hey guys, it's Commander Napkin here, and I'm here with another episode of Pikmin 2. So here we're in the Cavern of Chaos, sub-level 3, and this is a... Don't be fooled, this is a pretty tough sub-level. I mean, it looks like it's a rest place, but watch out, there are meteors coming in. So, yeah, anyway. Uh, there's a lot of creeping chrysanthemums here, and there's also a lot of mutas, which will be pretty annoying. Although, one thing you gotta notice is that... Excuse me, is that you gotta notice that Mimutas will slam your Pikmin into the ground. So, actually, creeping that might screw you over. Well, stupid meteors. Hate those things. They're actually very easy to dodge. Just that I, I'm very stupid sometimes. Anyway, yeah, there's. They throw three creeping, chrysan creeping chrysanthemums at you, and that's. Uh. The thing is that. <laughs> look at the treasure meter. It's not going up, which means none of these guys have any treasures, which means you don't even have to go there. I know. And watch out, meteor. In case you didn't notice. Ooh, spicy spray. That's good. That's good. But yeah, notice the treasure meter is gonna be your best buddy, your bestest, bestest buddy throughout the Wistful Wild because these dungeon floors they're tough and they're the design is really, really jerkish if I do say so myself. I mean, look at this. There's like mutas and chrysanthemums and rocks everywhere, and it's so annoying. But yeah, you just gotta be careful and also look at keep a constant eye on your treasure meter because. If you don't, if you don't have to kill it, you'll yeah, you don't have to kill it. <laughs> so that's good. So basically, if there's no treasure and there's like a bunch of enemies in the way, just don't just run away from them. It's not worth it. You'll you'll lose like ten Pikmin or something. I mean, I'm not gonna fight three creeping chrysanthemums at once. That that'd be pretty crazy. I could use like all my bitter sprays if I had to, but yeah, whatever. Yep. Anyway, as I was saying, actually something that's been on my mind lately, I. I've been wanting to try out Pikmin 1, yet I don't have the copy of it, and I really don't have enough time to play the game. I don't know, it's just that I, I 
quite thoroughly enjoy playing Pikmin 2, Pikmin 2, Pikmin 2, and like it has two player, it's got challenge mode, it's got a bunch of great features, and I like Pikmin 2 a lot. It's like one of my favorite GameCube games. And I don't know, I've always wanted to try Pikmin 1 because it's similar, well it's, yeah, it's the same gameplay, but the style's a bit different. I mean like you only got 30 days, and you gotta get, I mean, yeah you only got 30 days. I mean this, I can take I can take maybe like 99 days getting through the first dungeon if I really had to, if I was really that bad at games. But yeah, Pikmin 1, they don't show you no, they don't show you no bad grammar. They don't show you any remorse. I mean like, if you suck at the game, you're gonna do terrible. Oh, you suck. Oh, nope, 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 look at that. Yeah, tip of advice here. If something eats your Pikmin, kill it fast enough and it'll, and it won't swallow. Yeah. Like if I, it's it, yeah, as you saw there, it was eating some blue Pikmin, but I killed it so quickly that the, I killed it, <laughs> I killed it so quickly that I killed it, yeah. But yeah, I killed it so quickly that it died with the Pikmin in its mouth, so it didn't die. And I don't know what happened there. Like, I keep looking at that and I just like, I lost two Pikmin, but I don't know where. Like, I think I might know what happened looking over the clip again. I think that the Creeping Chrysanthemum, when it blew the Pikmin off, they flew over the walls and like into the abyss. I mean, there's there's no way they could have died from that, just from hitting the wall. I mean, Pikmin aren't, don't die that, don't die like that. So I'm guessing I had a glitch and my Pikmin just flew over the edge. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that won't happen to you guys if you guys ever play this game or if you're playing along with this game. But yeah, we'll see. Probably not. Yeah. Actually, if you guys are playing along with this game, I don't know. My, I, I, I actually, I don't know, wait. Yeah, some guys actually like to play along with Let's Players, like just like, when an episode comes out, just like, do whatever the Let's Players do and just like, follow them along in the game. I mean, it's pretty fun and it like, immerses you into the Let's Players gameplay and stuff. So I guess it can be pretty fun, but at the same time, like, I like to progress- Whoa, that was close. I like to progress games at my own rates. Like, I can- Like, if I want to take 50 days to clear the first dungeon, I will take 50 days to clear the first dungeon. You can't say anything about it. Although, I'd be, I'd be pretty- that'd be pretty sad if I took 50 days to clear- What was it called? The- The Emergence Cavern, I think? Which was like two floors and like three- literally three bulb orbs. Yeah, I mean, if you can't clear that in your first day, <laughs> I don't know what to say. P go- go practice. Yeah, that's all. Anyway, we're just about done here. This floor is- Okay, I skipped like a bunch of Creeping Chrysanthemums, but that's okay. Doesn't matter. And watch out, there's also bird treasures here. As I said, your treasure meter is your bestest buddy. It's gonna help you out through it so many times. And that's a bell- that's a bell pepper? I think it's a bell pepper. Is it? Infernal- well that, that, that doesn't tell me anything. Anyway, I think it's a bell pepper. Whatever. I'm off topic. But yeah. Uh, if I mentioned something before... Oh yeah, something I want to bring up actually, really quickly. That if you enter into the ki I want to, I want to, I want to reiterate this. I think I mentioned this before, but like this is really important. Like, to, it's gonna help. Me. It might save you some Pikmin someday. But if you go into the hole towards the next sub level in a dungeon, then all the Pikmin on that floor, no matter where they are, will go towards you and go into the next floor. So even if like there's like a giant jellyfish and sucked up like t t 50 of your Pikmin, which is impossible luckily, but if they, yeah, if they, if they like if they got like 50 of your Pikmin, you can just Go into the go into the, go through the hole and like all the people just teleport right towards you. It's really easy. Same with uh, being in the mouth in the mouth of any monsters. If they're in the mouth of like a what, like a creeping, creeping chrysanthemum, go into the next floor before they get swallowed. They go with you. So that's pretty useful. And this I know is a potato. I know my foods. Child of the earth. So true. Anyway, we're just about done here. So I guess yeah. This is yeah. This is Commander Napkin, and I'll see you guys later. Good night.